10 minutes past 7. Uh, we all had a chance to look at the minutes for our last meeting. as a matter of record, we should note that uh, while the minutes note that uh, Bob Cole, Peter Carpenter, and Phil Cressy were not in attendance at our last meeting of February 19th, <coughs> and they are not in attendance this evening, uh, that given the absence of other cases on the docket, uh, and given the historical fact that it is only the four members here this evening who are able to act uh, and participate on this uh, case that uh, the uh, absent members were given an opportunity to be excused uh, because there wasn't necessary for them to be here. Um, and they each exercised that option, which was fine with the board. So the board is just consisting of the four of us this evening. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. I'll be done. You finally thought, but you could tell. I was wondering because on the hist historic district, Sarah has a big one, and uh, we don't want to see what property is. She goes out first. Takes a picture, takes pictures on them, has it. So, what would one of these things cost me? Probably five fifty now. I think five hundred. What do they call it? I iPad. iPad. Yeah, because my. Uh, okay. The tablet. Those are the tablets. Oh, that's the real tablet. Well, what's the difference between the tablet and the iPad? Apple. Yeah, Apple. I would suggest Apple. Okay. Uh, we have a motion to accept the minutes. <coughs> so moved. Of a February 19th meeting. Seconded. Uh, <coughs> motion to make and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Minutes have been approved. change I made to them was put a March 3rd date on them. Yeah, I can see the date. Yep. So this is multiple sets here. Mm -hmm.
think it is. There's no way, no way. This is the house. That's the house. That's the house. That's the house. That's the house. Okay. What's this? Driveway. Driveway. Wait a minute. You mean the bottom? What's this out? This coming in here. Yeah, that's driveway, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what's the white? That's open land. That's a house. This is the driveway for a house here and here. See, the driveway comes in here, then this driveway comes way up to this house. Okay, well, what is the white? That's the house. No, no, no. That's the parking. Or, is that the driveway right here? The uh, No, that's just the open area. That's the front yard. Well, yeah, but I'm trying to... This, you were right. This is the, the, the these are, drive comes this in. The you park up field? Here. This is the leaching field? I don't know what he's got in there. The white part here, is that the leaching field in front of the house? the house here and you got you got uh, okay the the the, uh, the hatched area is the driveways right and uh, this is just open lawn that's open lawn right oh, does not show the leaching field uh, so each unit had a septic and a leaching field right uh, there there is a plan that does show that yeah right. probably too too congested to put right on this exactly one. right This is proposed septic area right here. Yeah, I did. That's why I thought it was in that part, too. Uh, yeah. Proposed septic area. That's that what that says. I don't know. Lot 6. Oh, here it is here, Dave. Up here. Proposed septic for Lot 6. Front of the house. Yeah, back here is proposed septic for yeah. this lot. Yeah. Proposed septic on these yeah. lots are in front. This one's back here. What? Same yeah. thing here, back here, back here. Well, like a space behind these lots so they can stick them in the back. Proposed septic, it's all back here. This lot has to be stuck over here because there's no other place to put it. Have you put the houses closer to the street than what you originally had? Um. Originally, they were closer to the street. I got an old point. They were closer to the street than they are now. Right, yeah. Okay. I was thinking they were closer to the street. Than they were. And they were. Okay. No, no sidewalks. 
sidewalk. Um, let's see, I'm easy at the, at the beginning. Um, sidewalk. Sidewalks right here. Yeah. yeah, the houses will set back more. They're more closer to the street now. The original plan now. In the back. Now oh, they're closer. Good, good. Um, what plan is that? That's oh, one uh, of them he gave us. He gave us a whole bunch yeah. of them. Well, the, the first design we had, we had them closer to the street. Well, this is for the back. Well, there have been a lot of changes. What's what's the scale on that compared to the scale? Forty scale. Forty feet, forty feet to an inch, right? Yeah. Okay, no. All right. Well, that's all right. It, that that plan is irrelevant. Doesn't make any difference what it says. This is irrelevant. It's totally irrelevant. Yeah. The only thing that well, we have to deal with is what's here. Well, I know. If you ask a question, it's a quote. No, it is well. Yeah, that's closer than the original. Sidewalk on this side. Mm -hmm. Where's the sidewalk? Is there a sidewalk only here? No, just on no. one side. One side. That's a standard um, planning board regulations. Oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't put it that way. The planning board uh, um, lets a developer put a sidewalk in on just one side of the street, as we did on Emily Lane. Yeah, because there are plenty of elements in town that don't have sidewalks. Yeah, I, do, well, I don't have a sidewalk in front of my house. So. Yeah, nothing. So that's, that's, there are new developments. There's no sidewalks over on, and over mine's on, on uh, City Lane. What's the next one? across the street. In other words, well, on this one here, if this is a playing area in front, this would be play area for the, for the kids? Or whatever. Or whatever. Now, it's lawn area because this is all hot top. Okay, it's lawn area. Or well, was it to where the kids are playing then? The backyard. On the street. The street the backyard. backyard. Okay. It's lawn area. Okay. Yeah, that they kind of like there's a separate here, so John, what's the average lot size? So, yeah. Uh close to twenty. Mm -hmm. Twenty square. Twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a separate bag here. That's the separate bag here. Oh that's <coughs> not what's this? That's a sediment trap. This here? Oh, yeah. that's a temporary sediment trap. Yeah. During construction. And then what happens to it? It just uh, gets uh, filled in, and you can put a lawn, put a lawn in. Now, when we talked about cutting down. You said it wasn't feasible. How much is a unit cost you to put up? Whatever something you're going to sell it for. With? I mean, what I get confused at: somebody can buy a piece of property for two hundred thousand dollars, just a lot, build a house, and still make a good profit. I don't understand. You already had the land, and you're saying it's not well, feasible to cut. Well, the developer off. doesn't have the land. Right. No, he, he has to buy it. Of the whole. He, he has to buy it. Sure, he does. And, we'll, and it's in the purchase and sales <laughs> agreement. Yeah, they I don't think, it's, I I think the price is seven hundred. Yeah, seven or seven fifty.
Mm -hmm. And they just did Heritage Way over here, and they're yeah. in a small, tight together, and they're selling them for 500 something thousand, and they're selling them. So. <clears throat> Now, when you come out of the driveway out of here with that roadway on the Daniels Road, what are you doing with that big mound across the street that's... That's going to be taken down. How much are you going in? Uh, that's shown on the plan, too. That shows split up. Are you building a wall there? Yep. There it is over here. Right here. Okay. That's town property anyway, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <coughs> where are you going in here? Well, the, 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 there are the trees, and we're going to leave these trees. Uh, to, you might say the trees are almost on the borderline. I understand that, but from the existing road that's there now, how much are you going back into the, like where the guy thought he used to have to cut his grass that he hated to cut? He's glad that this is what happened. It's about 15 feet. From the edge of the center, the edge from of the, the roadway? Edge. From, the, from the edge of the pavement. Okay. From the edge of the pavement, it's going to be 15 feet. And you're not going to make that pavement? No, no. But what are you going to do? Just slope the banking down? <coughs> building a wall? Or We're going to build a wall. And then what do you do with the 15 feet that's that you take? the roadway. Well, that's just... Um, it's going to be hot topped? We could hot top it. <coughs> good will, but that's what we're, you're looking for, the safety. If we show uh, that hatch line there is, is, is proposed hot top. Yeah, you show that's it as bituminous yeah. Yeah. payment and so on. That would uh, be the best solution. You'd think that would be fun. Because that would allow the traffic that. to right, come right. up closer yeah. to it. Yeah, we're going in about seven or eight feet. Yeah. It's like a breakdown line almost. Right. <clears throat> so did we get an answer on how, how much a unit's going to cost, a double unit, and then you put your sell it for? Those are all double units, right? Right. Yeah. Um, all one I thought we asked that a long time ago. I don't know. I never heard an answer, so I didn't know. We, I think we have that. We have an original budget which you gave us. Yeah, you have a uh, uh, pro forma. Yeah, you do. I, uh, I don't yeah, know. I'm, I'm just Unless looking for like one unit, what it costs and what you're going to sell it for. I don't know. We'd have to have that pro forma. We'd have to look at that pro forma and break it down to see what the cost would be. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're thinking of selling it for. Well, that's, that, that, that's it. I mean, that, that to me, that to me, yeah, from a business perspective, is a component of how quickly they want to sell them. You know, if they if they want to chase a margin, mm -hmm. let's assume let's assume for argument's sake. What did you say this was? A three or four million dollar project? Do you remember what the pro forma was? I can't remember, uh, and I don't think I have it with me. Yeah. Okay. We probably had it up in the file. I don't want to. I don't carry that that large of a file. Um, it's, it's in the file. Better, yeah, I know. I remember seeing it. Better have to dig all that stuff out. Um, but even if even if there were okay. twenty units, and if it was you know, uh, if it was three hundred thousand a unit to build, that would make it a six million dollar project. I'm not suggesting it's that. I'm just saying suppose it was. It was three hundred thousand dollars. But are they two or three bedroom? Yeah, three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. What's the square footage of one unit? Um, oh, say a, a duplex because they're both the same, right? Yeah. About Cut it in half. Okay, 28,000. 28 by 50. 1,400 square feet. Okay, so that's, that's small. 1,400 for the total? And that means split in half? Or? No, that, is yeah. that half of one unit, 14? No. But, no, it's going to be seven something. It's got to be twenty-eight. It's got to be the whole unit be and fourteen. Seven It'd be like an tiny. MR apartment. Exactly. Seven. Right. It'd be too tiny. You couldn't sell that for anywhere near the kind of money they'd want to get. Well, and you fun. wouldn't get okay. Well, it's if, it's seven, if it's seven, if it's seven hundred, you're not going to get three bedrooms. 
So the footprint is 1,400 square feet, but it's two story. Right. Right. Mm. Oh, yeah. So you've got. Uh, uh, Plus, uh, you probably get two, two A few, few of the units, units have attics, too. Yeah. Can't go in an attic. Well, what do they what do they sell? Didn't they just sell? Court, how do they get four hundred fifty thousand for that? I mean, those are small. You're, you're talking over the golf course, right? Huh? What are the ones at the golf course? Those went between four fifty and five and a quarter. Yeah, yeah, they're up there. Right, and five they, something most of them. And and how big were those? You were in most uh, of those, or some of those? I, I, I don't remember offhand. How many units over there? I think there's 38 or something like that. 40 units. Do they have garages underneath? Uh, Anyone? He's got no garages at all? No, I don't think no, so. No garages at all? No, I, I, uh, I think there's two or three units. You'd have to be in the Gopher Hall. Mm. I think 10 is the only one that has a garage under. You're the caretaker. <laughs> For the kids. No, that's the one that fills up with water and can't rank some. concerns about the density because I think one of the things uh, John has done certainly is over time whether it was by our request to say what are you doing uh, or coming from another board modifications from the original plan that you have to this plan is what we got um, and the question becomes you know relative to everything Edie told us on a number of occasions uh, was that as opposed to us trying to evaluate each and every aspect of the septic systems, of the stormwater management issues, all the waivers. of, of all, all the construction is, uh, and the waivers um, that, are, uh, that are required, uh, is, you know, do we feel, at least this is the way I'm approaching it, do we feel this is a realistic and proper development as it's currently constructed for the town? Because if we approve it, um, it, it fundamentally, I think, will be built pretty much the way we see it. I don't think you would change it at this point. Oh. Uh, number one. Number two, um, I think within that context, the question then becomes, okay, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I think it's almost irrelevant what it's, what it's costing him and what he's doing. I mean, we can debate that point, but I don't know what our conclusions, where, where our conclusions get us, even if we think they're not going to sell them. I, I, the only other factor that, to me, is overriding is that we're four years in here, so I think the whole issue of urgency is, is a bit of a moot point. And okay. You know, I, I would have, I understand the, the role that the market has played in looking at any kind of project like this, but there have been plenty of developers, witness those that have occurred here in town, Everything is wrong, yeah. that, that have actually, stopped. have, you know, in the time that we've been looking at this, have proceeded, been approved, and, and now are complete or close to completion. Yeah. Um, so frankly, uh, Part of me, part of me says, if we if we move to approve this, I you know, I'm still concerned, John, that even though you'll have an approval, that we'll be looking at that curve empty for another two or three years. Well, I'm sorry though, you I didn't get to see he, yeah, he the last part. Well, I'm I'm concerned that even if the plan is approved, uh, with whatever conditions were granted, that the lot would sit there for you know two or three years, and you know the the. 
I know I, I feel similarly to some of the board members that uh, some of the other avenues which were looked at, which was building single family units here, uh, or, or, or dramatically altering the total size of the project from the 20 units down to perhaps something in the order of uh, 12 to 15 units, uh, not only introduces uh, elements of safety, but elements of uh, continuity in the, in the development in the area. You built Emily Lane, and Emily Lane is, has much bigger lots, much bigger houses. Uh, that's a beautiful area in town. Uh, it, this is a, there are a lot of open um, fields down there. It's, it's uh, well maintained and this is, this is a bit different in terms of the content of the character of that area. Um, you know, is it, is, it, is it doable the way he's drawn it up? Probably, certainly. Um, uh, you've also indicated, John, that this is likely to be a gateway to the back of the property. Some of the rest of you have more insight into the back of the property than I do. Um, it's not a functional well, It's point. going to be a formidable challenge, let me tell you. We've got to cross that wetland. Yeah. Um, and this, this road, he, is this road <coughs> going to be wide enough and heavy enough? To, to take, well, to, to, to take all the traffic that's going to. That's the problem. Nobody looks ahead. The, the road right. should be beefed up. Right. If, if this, right. we we've got we've got to look at this. Is being a gateway for a development that's going to have probably fifty to sixty more homes in that backland at least, right. which is going to triple the amount of traffic that goes down this road. Yeah. And which is going to be an extremely different, <coughs> extremely, extremely different kind of living environment for those people that chose to invest in this property. That's right, because this road, is, they, they'll be lucky to be, get out on it. If there's all the traffic coming through, but the other development must have another entrance. I would have to come off what? Was it central? Yeah, you could come in Emily Lane, right? I'm sorry. You could come if you went through your other property. You could come in Emily Lane. Or well, we may have to make a big circle. We yeah. could, yeah. The bridge you talk about, how? how What's the span of that bridge that you'd have well, to Well, it won't be a bridge. It's going to be uh, something similar to uh, uh, what like they did off Wethersfield Street. Cindy you know? Lane up in there? Huh? Yeah. Like they have in Cindy Lane, going out to uh, Newbury Road? I that's, think so. Yeah, well, that's no big deal. Okay. Well, you thought it would be a big cost. I mean, it's, you got to build a bridge, you so. But I, that's yeah. irrelevant. Well, it's, uh, but you're right. It's like a yeah. causeway. Almost <clears throat> over wetlands. Well, my 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 concern was right from the beginning that he's got <coughs> he's got duplexes here, which we approved on West Ox Pasture, and those lots up on West Ox Pasture were roughly 40,000 square feet and they put a duplex on a property line so that each house had 20,000 square feet. Right. And what we got in here is we have a duplex on 20,000 square feet so they've only got 10,000 square feet. And per unit, per unit, mm -hmm. and that is that's a violation of our zoning. And 
back back then when we did West Ox Pasture, we allowed them to do that, provided that the lots would be the minimum size of the central district, which at the time was 20,000 oh, yeah. square feet. Yeah. Now it's 30. <clears throat> and it's yeah, you got to admit it's congested. There's no question about it. It's, it's congested. And I mean, yeah. It's not in keeping with the neighborhood. That's my feeling. I don't know, dude, that's for sure. Yeah, you know, I mean, I almost want to like to see single homes there. Going into the yeah. Yeah. Well, John, did well, you less know? Less duplexes, I mean. That's what we talked about in the first place. Yeah. And he said it was not feasible. Money wise. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> What's the what's the other pages? Just curious. Yeah, no, no, no. I need to go through. These are infiltration basins. That's the drainage. Yeah. <coughs> Test holes that we dug yeah. to check the soils. If, is this the road? Well, this isn't. This it is was the road. road. Yeah, it was the road. Was the road? Yeah. Yeah. the road coming in. Yeah, but this is not. It's been. This has been stretched out. Stretched over to here, and this line comes almost yeah. down. Uh, so you look at that. Two entrances. No, well, this is a different. Entrance. That's a different scale. What what you're looking at is 20 scale. Is is it, I had to make it larger so the uh, you could read the details. Oh yeah yeah okay no here. Oh okay all right yeah 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 right, I see yeah. it I see it yeah. Right. Yep, okay. If we did a red magic marker along the road. We'd see the road better. Right. Oh yeah, that's this is not the road no, out here. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's still coming out here. <coughs> yeah, so yeah. Okay. That's up there. And uh, I think I mentioned this before that uh, the design of the uh, the street is very similar to what uh, the state did in Topsfield on Route 90, at the intersection of Route 97 and um, uh, Ipswich Road. If you, if you come down Route 1, yeah. at the Dunkin' Donuts, you take a right, right. that's uh, Ipswich Road. You go all the way over to 97. And, it, and they re redesigned the uh, intersection there, so you approach it now at a 90 degree angle rather than coming out and and that's and that's what we tried to do here mm -hmm. and it just makes a sharper right now yeah. gonna, before you go on an angle exactly look yeah. Yeah. that was a dangerous intersection there in in, in Topsfield yeah where are you Topsfield but that doesn't have it's the, well not coming out of the development that's just it's which road <laughs> I mean, they don't. They don't have that. You know, they don't have that sharp bend, which you're going to be. You are going to be cutting into there. Right. And the only thing I worry. What I worry too is, if there's a bus stop up top coming down, it's stopped. Now the kids are all close at the end because they're not. They can't come down this. They'll never be able to turn around. And now somebody's coming down that hill. It's icy. Oh, I didn't have the bus. <clears throat> 
I mean, it's, a, it's a dangerous curve no matter how you look at it. Yeah, yeah. Because what you're coming from, you're coming around that factory that's right on the, mm -hmm. right on the street. Yeah, right. This building blocks most of the view coming yeah, right yeah, by Yeah, you can't, yeah. It's, I mean, when I'm going, going up, just up, you're hugging close to that and, you know, these cars are coming down. It's, that's you just a, two people. Everybody's got to not a bus, up. not a truck. But no matter which way you're going, you got to hug it to right. the right. And you got a lot of traffic. You got yeah. Emily Lane. <coughs> you got all that up there. You got the development of uh, uh, the golf course. All that they're coming in and out of there. I mean, Grant, everybody don't come at once. But if you you got a slippery road, but it's just another just concerned about the safety. Uh, I don't know where the kids are going to be playing out the street. They will end up playing where you don't intend them to. You're saying no way it can be reduced. No, it couldn't. It, you know, we've we've tried. We just it just doesn't work out, David. And, and we don't know exactly the kind of what our unit costs, right? You gotta have. Right. We have to look at the performance. We we probably um, what's this? Oh, I, uh, that last plan is uh, okay. is something that we did for for the um, peer uh, for the peer review. It shows uh, what's called hydrocat areas that uh, relate to the stormwater uh, system, yeah, and everything's on one plan, so it's. it's it's very, very complicated.
This plan right here, John, tells me that you did this in July 22nd, 2013, and you updated it on March 3rd. That's what that tells me. All right? Uh, I didn't change anything. I just put the date on. All right. But these plans here, okay, you've got here June 25th, 2011, revised 226, August 11th, and March 3rd. So you changed that as of March 3rd. And you've got other plans here that is the date of August 4th, 11th, 2014. Right. These are all new plans. No, the plans have not changed. All, all I've done is added the date of March 3rd. That's a new plan. That's a new plan. That's a new plan. A new plan or a new date? A new date. He just. He's saying all he did was the same plan, but he just changed the dates. Okay, well, John, here's Don's question, John. What Don is pointing out is that about 70% of these plans reflect only one date, which suggests to us that this plan exists only on this date. When, when we see other plans, Oh, like days. this one that show a date of 2014, I understand that you're saying, well, no, that was the plan we had on August 11th, 2014. Right, right. I just put today's March 3rd exactly. date. Exactly. Okay, well, right. that, that's fine. Don's question is, well, so where is the 2000, August 11th, 2014 date? On all plans? of them. That didn't exist. Okay, that so so exist. this thing, that's why Don's conclusion is this looks like it exists as of today, uh, or the 3rd, technically. Uh, as opposed to existing any time before, and, and we suspect that's not the case. Well, it, 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 that's correct. It isn't the case, especially the existing conditions. The, you know, you, you see, and that title is existing conditions. Uh, it is what it is. You know, the, uh, the original existing conditions are still still exist. Steve, did we have a concern with the dating on these plans? I'd say you do. I mean, I, yeah. I, I guess I don't understand why you would enter a new date anyway. Just say, here's the July or whatever it is plan, and then well, I'll get it back to you because you're asking me to bring the plan. Why would you even enter a new date on it at all anyway? Well, but, uh, I think that's what I understood you wanted at the last meeting. You wanted a new set. Well, uh, you, you wanted a set. A complete new set. Right. That that's you'd be acting the on. Well, right, not dates. Well, well that, I, I, that's that's the way I understood it. You know, would that be in here? But then it, I is, just it, is my, it is my under, it is my understanding that a plan is drawn up, and the engineer dates the plan of when that was drawn up. If he makes a change to that plan. Yes, he has another date revised on such and such a date. And the final copy would have the final final date. But he but the, there would be if it was a machine drawing, it would show what had been changed. That's right. And this doesn't show what had been changed. In fact it doesn't even That's why I say yeah. this is a new plan. Yeah. That's the way I feel about it. We haven't even. Well, are you saying all of these sheets one through nine are the same as originally prepared? Or not, some of not them as originally, no, because originally we we gone through a number of changes. Yes, but since but the most recent plans, the most recent the, 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 the most recent plans that I've submitted, and and these plans here are the same. And what was the date of those most recent plans? Two. Don mentioned a July 2013 date on one of them. Well, here's one. 
here that's... Can you, can you tell us what the most recent date is? I cannot off the top of my head. This one shows it only March 3rd. So this one just got drawn up on March 3rd, 2015. Yeah, that's what I'm... That's what it says. Yeah, but he's saying it's the same plan, he just put a different date on it. That's exactly what I want to say. And I, and I thought at the last anything. meeting, that's that's what you wanted. I don't know. Well, uh, you know, we could have done that here. <coughs> well, no, he he had to do it because no, I know. He, right. I mean, he just changed the date. That they have to represent to us that this is their so this final is, plan. This is their their position. Um, on on what they want us to consider. I mean, to me, it's like a final. To me, it's like a final form of a contract. You know, you could go through ten forms of a prior date, but, but the one that you sign or okay, look at a will. You know, the most recent dated edition of the will is what is valid, not the prior ones. All the ones that are post the, whatever the original date was superseded. And that's the only way I'm looking at this is, you know, I, I mean, at least in these two instances, it's clear that the information was existed before and now it exists today. He didn't change. In fact, that tells me he didn't change it. Okay. Now he may have changed these. I don't think he did because it's be too hard to draft. Um, and, and 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 make changes. We still have to make. We still have to make. In my mind, we still have to make a judgment based upon what's here, with this date on it, and the technical aspects of it are going to fall more in front of uh, the building department and the planning board. I think the things that we pointed out, that Don's pointed out about. The, you know, I mean, do we want to approve a plan where there's such a divergence from the lot size? There's a huge divergence from the lot size, number one. Do we want to approve a plan where it's, it's certainly arguable that the density of the plan is uh, far greater than what we see elsewhere in town? Mm -hmm. uh, do we want to approve a plan where the applicant has indicated openly that there's a desire to extend this roadway into another development that at some point in the future where the amount of traffic would dramatically uh, increase for some point of time. You know, it, it may be a gradual increase because I don't think they'll build 30, 40, 50 houses like that. They, they'd probably be happy if they could build and sell five a year or something like that. Well, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're, they, given what they want to sell these for, those are going to be single families that are going to be pricing. Uh, I, I'm, I have no confidence in the real estate market much beyond what it is now. Uh, Rates are down, people are moving. Well, you're right. I mean, people are buying, but, you know, you see most of the properties that are selling in town. And they sell mostly between 375 and five and a half. That's where most of your buyer market is in this town. There's a few, there are pockets. Well, it all depends what you're buying. You're buying something new, you're paying 550 to six. Well, I, 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 that's what they're paying. But you know, once you start to move up in those other, other mm -hmm. ranges, you now. And you're having an eight dollar lives. Yeah, they're, you're right. No, no, no. no. You got a good lot. You got, you know. No. I, look, all I'm saying is that I, that I think if they go into acre lots and they build bigger houses, they're going to be at high-end price points for this town. You know, there are a lot of houses that, that sell, that sold five years ago in, this high, in the mid to high sixes uh, that are having trouble getting back there. Big houses, you know, 3,500, 4,000 square foot houses on acre lots. Some of the houses out on Cindy Lane. They, they sat there for a while, and they're not all that big. Do they sell? Sure they sell, oh, well. eventually. I mean, you know, when Abizarra put that up, there was a big stink. I personally don't have a problem with what he ended up with out there. 
but I think we have to make a judgment based not not on. I mean, it's, it, 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 we, it, we have we have a breakout of all the documents, and let's face it, we, when we sit through the average case, we get a, a half dozen, maybe ten pieces of information that are that are part of the document, or the application that we have to consider. Um, Lisa compiled for us our, our, a list of the documents that John produced to us, and by line item, you know, each page easily. Those your notes. But that's but these are Steve's notes. Are those notes. What's the other page? Oh, this is missing page eight in this section. There's an eight that's missing in that group of plans. That's all. Oh, that's just missing page eight. And some of them are, are, are non-essential notations, simply requests for a continuance, of which there have been plenty. Some of them are notations that are simply indicating a communication uh, uh, between uh, John and us, or John and somebody else, or us and somebody else, um, and not actual uh, documents that were relevant to, to the plan or to a change in the plan. But there's still almost 200 line items here. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's almost difficult to get wrapped your head around. Um, because there were so many reviews, and I think John made an effort to change this from the original plan. I think there were a lot of changes that occurred from the first plan you sat and no, gave us. No question about Because I, I think you ran into far more hurdles than, than any of you anticipated. Exactly. Um, and I appreciate that. I, I certainly appreciate the fact that it had gone through a lot of, a lot of iterations. Um, hey, you still, you got this one. There were two of them in the Well, so this down here. Just look at the title. Yeah, but you see this down here? Yeah. You don't see it over here. Oh, you find it over here. Well, there are some differences, certainly, because John would not have been privy or been aware of a lot of the communications that we had between EV members, so there are some line item differences there, certainly. So, I, so I, you know, I, I'm, I'm so consumed by the scope of the complexity that I think the only way we can look at this is step back. And you guys have sat on these things before, um, and and in, in in studying and reviewing some of the other kinds of reviews that you have done and that other towns have done, um, I th I think without getting into a highly technical. Yeah, I think what we got we got to do is we got to find out what we like about it. And what we don't like about it. Around the bush all night long. Well, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm exactly, and I'm thinking, you know, we can, if we get caught up in details, we're just gonna, we're not gonna get anywhere, right? And we don't have time to not get anywhere. So. question. Um, has your uh, consultant given you a breakdown of like the decision making process that you have to go through? Like, um, breaking down into English these regulations as to no. burden of proof and if you do this then you've got to do this if you're going to find you know you have to find certain things. Has that been done? Been done for you? No. Um, I don't think 
So no, we were we were right at that phase of the date, and then she dropped us. Um, so I'm thinking and I don't mean that negatively, but that's no, I understand. we were waiting for her to do that. I think that might be helpful. Um, just to lay out almost in uh, programmatic fashion, or just run two or three of the steps. Mm -hmm. and have they met this? Has the applicant met this requirement? If so, have they met this? If not, because the regulations, which just got amended a, you know, just a couple of years ago, um, are really detailed on this. And they superimpose with the Housing Appeal Committee rules and the way they have to proceed. They put that on the local boards. They say, fine, you should have your own regulations, but if they're inconsistent with the state regulations, you've got to follow the state regulations. And I'm just thinking while I'm, you know, sitting here that that might be helpful when you start your deliberations and we're still in the hearing phase here. Right? So once you close the hearing, which I assume you may be doing tonight, Unless yeah, but you, you, you better. Uh, isn't the <coughs> number of days? You got forty short. days. You got forty days after you close the hearing <coughs> to render a decision, which really means take a vote. Um, in light of Nat's upcoming um, retirement from the board, I mean that uh, you can see that we're getting close in this. In the, in the, what did I say? 60? It should be 40. It's 40. That's why I meant to say. You said, I didn't you say said 40. Okay. Yeah. All right. All 40 right. days. Right. To, to, make, to render a vote. <coughs> to render a vote or render a drafted decision? Well, I can speak from experience in this because I litigated it before the appeals court. I think I was telling you before, we yeah. rendered, we voted within the 40 days, but the written decision was outside the 40 days. Our applicant took it up on appeal and they lost because the court agreed with us that rendering a decision means voting on it, up, down, or with conditions, you know, whichever way you go. I'm not recommending you do that, believe me. <laughs> but um, you, you, especially, you, I'm not recommending that you, you bifurcate. I mean, I, I think the closer we can keep the written decision to the, the vote, the better. Especially with Nance leaving, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, that would introduce another consideration we don't need to get into if the written decision weren't done by the time Nat left. So right. I think uh, it's best if they all get wrapped up by the you know, that you vote and you also how vote many do they decision. Uh, all right, then when I left, if they're going to make a decision, there's only three people left. That's right, and it has to be a majority of the members of the board. And that would be? That would be three. Majority of the members would be two. That's, you're talking majority of the quorum. Huh? Oh. I'm saying okay. the vote, it would require a, an affirmative vote of three. You've got a five-member board, right? Mm -hmm. So it's... A majority of the members of the board. Uh, that's okay. What the, that's what the statute. Not the number. <coughs> excuse me. Not of the number of people left, but it's of the the this board is, that's consists right. of five. This is that's uh, right. Even so, so in that scenario, if if we were not to act. By the time Nat left, and one individual were opposed to it, it would fail. Because there would only be three of us able to vote one, and only two votes in that scenario would be yes votes. Well, it gets sticky. I, mean, I, I don't think any of us want to be in a situation right. where you have the vote before in the written decision after. No, no, I, 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 I don't think we do, and I think we can. Yeah. I think we can vote and, and... I'm here to help you avoid legal issues. And yeah, me right. And we don't want to. <laughs> right. Um, so, but I, I'm thinking in, 
it, it may facilitate how you wade through this if at least you have the framework of what the decision you know should touch upon and have findings on. You know, yeah. You've got jurisdictional requirements you have to make findings on. Uh, yeah. um, and I think the list is going to be helpful. Be yeah. In the meantime. And, and my intent would be, uh, as I say, to break the, almost like a working document. Right. You can fill in the blanks. In essence, it's not that simple, but I think it gives you the idea that yes. um, it tells you what you have to find. And in effect, it would be a pre draft in rough form of a decision. Yeah. Because you could then, uh, and, that, and that might help guide you. Uh, I haven't been here from day one, so I don't know what's been submitted on these other jurisdictional that you, you refer to pro forma. I mean, there's, um, there's, there's other findings that should be made in the decision, and I think uh, if I give you this framework, it'll, it'll help. You know. uh, this will have to be quick. I mean, if, if you're going to close the hearing tonight. I don't think we should close that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I frankly think that to clarify, is your will your term go through the month of June? Yes, it goes through the month of June. June. So you'll be here technically for a June meeting. Oh yeah. Okay. I think. And even if you have a June meeting on the last day, it. huh? You have extended a couple of months anyway if you needed it, right? Well, it had no it's a question. Had, of it'll have to be a five-year appointment. Oh yeah, that's all right. But then you can retire in two months. <laughs> If worse come to worse, I'm saying. He wants to be in the summer free and clear, I have a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I could, well I, what I'm thinking is, 55 is that, years. that if, if what Steve's suggesting yeah, what makes good sense, oh, yeah. but yeah. I, I think it's March. I think if you could get something like that to us for our April meeting, we crunch that as best we can on our April meeting, and then on the May meeting we close the hearing, and then then we have 40 days to get a decision out and and before you go for the June meeting, and uh, if if after next month's hearing we have a fairly workable sense of where we want to go that come May, we can wrap that up. From May until June, we get the decision actually written. And then in the June hearing, um, we, we, we review the decision, oh, sign off on the decision, it gets filed for John. And we may have to have some special order. meetings. Well, I don't know how much, I mean, uh, that's fine. I agree. I don't know. I don't know if we can. I don't know how many extra meetings we can. I guess, can we have as many meetings as we want? Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, then we that need every week if we, if we need to. If we need it. Okay. Yeah. I think after we close the hearing, uh, if we close it in May, I think we should try to come to a vote in May. I think we can come to a vote in May based upon the substance of what we believe. We got forty days to make the decision. Yeah. Forty days to draft yeah. it, write it. Yeah. But if but if Steve gives us enough of a document. Well, even enough of a method, strategy to go through and think about this, think about this, think about this. I mean, I think we all know most of what we need. It's it's still going to have to be documented when the decision is written. Right. The board more, feels more this based upon right. this, 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 and this. Yeah, it'll be sort of uh, be sort of like a decision tree, if you will. I mean, because you can deny. You can approve. You can approve conditions, and depending upon you know, if you deny, there will be like this one set of steps to go through, mm -hmm. and make sure that you go through those steps and to support the denial. Or if you decide to approve, approve with conditions, there will be another set of steps to go through. Because uh, the regulations regulations set up shifting burdens of proof depending upon which way you go here. Mm -hmm. and, I, I thought you were going to close a public hearing tonight. John, that's my understanding. If we close the public yeah, hearing, it forces our hand on having to draft a decision more than anything else. Yeah. And I'd be hard pressed to think 
we are ready to draft a decision in the next 40 days. Not because I don't think the board could decide. I think the board, if push came to shove, the board would probably make a decision. I mean, I, I, I think I, speaking for myself, I, I have a grasp of the issues that I think are on the pro side, con side, that I like about it, and I have a grasp of the things that I'm concerned about. Um, but I'm more concerned about uh, the fact that we lost our council, uh, and, and town council has now just been with us a short window of time. Um, and I think in order to write a competent decision, I, at this point in time, this is why when you said uh, two months ago, how about if we scrap this and start all over again? Because maybe that'll be quicker. <laughs> then, then I would say, John, I want all of these documents all over again. And we're going to look at them all over again because anything that's been decided in the last year and considered OK, I, it's got to be reviewed again. And I, I just see that opening a major Pandora's box. So I'm glad you didn't do that. But at this point, I, you know, I, I recognize and respect your desire to want to end it, get it done, move forward, have something to work with. But after four years, I don't think I feel like I want to be pushed to act right now. Just because, well, let's just get it done. Because the trust, you know, uh, was under the uh, impression that the hearing was going to be closed tonight. Where would they? They didn't get that from us. At, a, well, at, at our the last, last meeting? meeting, I didn't know of any. Yeah. We had, we had. I wasn't in the minutes. Mm -hmm. I wasn't in the minutes. <clears throat> I had no idea. Of course we couldn't close them. Well, what's what's your what is your I mean I'm curious what your what your feeling about the problem is. Well they you know they they, they haven't advised me to continue it. I mean, they, they, they thought that the, uh, the public hearing was going to be closed tonight. I don't know why they thought that. They weren't at the meeting. How would they know? Well, can we get some direction on on the on the on the board's ability to continue the hearing without the approval of the applicant. Well, that could be an issue. Um, in view of the length that this has been going on, um, I'm looking at your own regulations now, which may address that. John, I don't think you should misunderstand the board's desire to complete. No, I, I know. I mean, we did try to close it last August. Right. Well, your own regulations only say that the uh, talks about when you have to start the hearing. Uh, and then it says the hearing is deemed terminated when all public testimony has been received and all information requested by the board has been received, which would include the, the plan submitted tonight, um, including the reports of any outside consultants retained for review of the project, and the board has voted by majority vote to close the hearing. So if all we're looking at are your own regulations, uh, the hearing closes when the board says it closes. Um, now, unless there's something that contradicts that in these state regulations, I was mentioning that trump the um, the local regulations. Um, the hearing closes when you say. Uh, let me take a look at the state regulations. 
have them here. What would be the other question? <clears throat> John, are you under the impression that we have approved all of the waivers? No. I'm not under the impression that you have approved them. Okay. Matter of fact, I think you've got a letter from the Board of Selectmen saying not to approve them. That's I know you have a letter from the Board true. of Selectmen saying not to approve them. Have you submitted everything you want to submit in support of the waivers? Yeah. One of the things here that has bothered me right along is uh, step here, the step that I'm looking at of how the process should go on. And the third one down here says, negotiating with developers, develop, negotiating with developers is possible and is frequently done during the 40B hearing process. And that is one area that we have not really done. You have just brought stuff in. Right, I know. And you are not willing to negotiate with anything. And I, and I, I, I've given you the reason. It's a, it's a narrow piece of land. We're, we're uh, bounded by wetlands. We don't have any, any uh, room, any wiggle room, so to speak. It's just a, the entrance of the property is uh, is difficult. It's uh, oh you you said it right there. Mm. In other words, you basically said it really isn't a good project. And it's something not enough created. land. suggest that we continue this till next month in which time we will take a vote to close the hearing. Uh, I'll make a motion to that effect. Okay. And before you vote, oh. let me just say I have found the state regulation is exactly like yours. Hearings deemed terminated when all public testimony has been received and all information requested uh, by the board that is entitled to receive has been submitted making its decision that says what the uh, board shall take into effect. So actually, it's um, the hearings deemed terminated when all public testimony has been received and all information requested. It doesn't have the part about when the board takes a vote. Read that again. Which is what your regulations say. So when I said it's exactly so our regulation would, would come into play, would it not, in the absence of a state well, what I'm saying there is, um, what I'm saying is I spoke too soon when I said it was exactly the same. I was reading the same, the first part is the same, yeah, but I left right. off the, the second part about when the board votes to end the hearing. Other, when I said it ends when you say it ends, mm -hmm. uh, according to the state regulation, uh, it's terminated when all public testimonies are received and all information requested by the board that is entitled to receive has been submitted. I guess uh, Mr. Bukulis is telling you um, even if you were to request additional information, he's not going to supply any. Is that? I, I don't have any. I don't have anything more to to 
to uh, submit. So if you requested information, then you're entitled to receive that information, the hearing could be extended. Uh, but if everything's in, all the testimony and all, all the uh, information requested, sounds like under the state reg, you know, that would be the termination of the hearing. Unless it says, uh, you know, both sides agree to extend the hearing. And I guess what Mr. Nicholas is saying tonight, he's not going to consent to that. Well, the, the trust hasn't given me that authority. They, they, they want to close it. So, so um, are, you, are you saying when you leave here, you're going to go find out if you want to continue this or close it? Oh, they want to close it. No, he's saying he doesn't, he's not going to. Oh, we're, we're not, according to what the state law is, and our town law provides direction, but the state law supersedes. It, in its ambiguity, it yeah, supersedes. Yeah, you're, you're in the gray area, and uh, I'll tell you um, where there's an ambiguity in this area and 40B projects. Uh, Boards don't prevail right. <laughs> too often. Yeah, that uh, surprised me. If there if there's a way to to read this, um, because the whole purpose of the law, the cases will tell you is this is supposed to be an expedited process to get affordable housing done right. online, right. whereas this project sort of uh, can hardly be called uh, expedited, but. Nevertheless, that's the policy underlying all these rules, and so I would not sit here and encourage you, based upon that, to rely that if you continue it, that that 40-day clock doesn't start running as of tonight. Mm. Ultimately, if we, you know, if we had to, uh, if it became an issue later on, um, I tend to. Um, look at things, what's the worst case that can happen, and what's the worst case that can happen. So the 40 days would start, would start running tonight. Now, um, that's still, 40 days is um, almost six weeks. You can go ahead, you can vote, you've got the motion on the table and second it, you can vote to continue the public hearing. Um, and take the risk that, you know, if this were to go up on appeal to the Housing Appeals Committee, which is where it would go first, and then ultimately to a court if it went to there, and take the risk that, um, that your own regulation would be observed. I'm just telling you that uh, it's, that probably would not be the case. So, <clears throat> it uh, fr from a logistic point of view, it, it seems, John, that we're we're what we what is that issue right now is about. 30 days, uh, which would be extending it uh, one more hearing date. Now, if what you're saying, Steve, is that if the board continues um, and we proceed along the way we discussed we would, which is close the hearing, uh, looks like we'd have to close it at least next month and then 40 days from next month generate that decision so we'd be a little ahead of that schedule that a decision would still be uh, a, a decision would still be in place in May a, a recordable decision would still be in place by May now let's let's for argument's sake say the applicant says we don't like it we wanted it done a month before okay and they're going to, what advantage to them would it, would it be for them to appeal that process, regardless of what the decision was? Would that expedite, would it get them any closer to where they want to go? 
than us doing our decision. Wouldn't it be to their advantage to work with us on our timeline? Well, you're getting into you know areas of negotiation. I mean, I don't. Yeah. Uh, what you what you get concerned about, and uh, I would have to just verify this, but you get into areas of constructive approval if you don't do. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's a term you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. How that plays out in the 40B context, I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't recall, but but I I can obviously let you know what I was to suggest. You've got the motion on the table. You could go ahead if that's your inclination. Vote to continue it. And then Mr. Nikoulos, if he wishes, he could consult with his client, and the client may well submit something in writing saying, yes, we agree to the continuous, in which case the issue goes away, right? Um, but that's the risk, and you would know that by the next meeting, whether they, you know, his client has submitted that or not. They may decide, no, you know, we've had it, or whatever, we're not going to. Mm -hmm agree to that, in which case you would know that, and you would know, um, um, you should assume, right, just to be on the safe side, that a clock started ticking tonight if his client doesn't um, consent to, you know, the continuance. Mm -hmm. Now, the client's got to consider whether that works, I think that's what you're asking, yeah. whether that works to, to their benefit. That's a decision they'll have to make. I mean, Especially, in, I mean, there is a there is a deadline here, as a practical one, with Nat's upcoming retirement. So, I mean, your client might want to look at how much longer are we really talking about? It's a practical matter, you know. And is is that a, is that a decision they would like to make in view of the fact they know they're going to get a decision anyway? Right. You know, within another what month? Yeah, it's only a month more, huh? I mean, they, but that's something, you know, for you discussing the client and see uh, which it's makes the most sense. But that would be a way that you could go ahead and vote for the continuous tonight and, uh, and then um, ideally if your client agrees to it, they would get that in right away. So why don't the why board could plan. Why don't you go out in the hall and call? There's a problem. There's two parties involved, Bruce and the sister. And the sister's in Florida. No, she's not. Unless she left today. Unless she left today. She's a, she's still here? I said, unless she left today. Oh, from, from Florida to back here? I, I, I saw her yesterday. Oh, you saw? Oh, I'm sorry. I was under the impression she was in Florida. Well, why don't I consult with them and send you a letter? See what... It, it, the one thing that bothers me is they've stalled us along for, we had all for damn near five years, or four to five years, and now all of a sudden, we got to close it! We ought to get one free one, huh, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I don't know if it works that way, but... Well, it might. I'm just saying, yeah, you know, no, I, there's yeah. it's, it's sort of this risk-benefit analysis you always engage in here, and... Uh, I think I, uh, I'd go for the continuous and handle it as it comes. And I will do my best to get my... Get that list to us and... We can always have extra meetings too. Yeah, no, I think we. Uh, I no, mean, I think we're good. we're probably going to need to do that under any condition. Uh, you're gone from Wednesday till when? April one or so? April two? April four. April four. Okay. Um, well, come yeah, April. Yeah, you're going to be gone. You know, <coughs> you're going to be gone for three weeks, right? And come April 7th, <coughs> April 7th, I'm going in for a total knee replacement surgery, which uh, is not is going to keep me away from being in meetings for a couple of weeks. Yeah. <coughs> okay. 
Can Nellie cook? Can we go to your house? <laughs> I may not be. For the first week, I probably will not be. I know, I'm not, no, I'm not kidding. <coughs> I know you. <coughs> you know, I, I, you know I, I almost think, I mean, th th these are, um, that the, well, that's that's two pieces of information which almost chew up 30 days. Well, you withdraw your second. Yeah. Yep. To his motion. Right. And will you withdraw your motion? Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll withdraw. Yeah. All right. So that motion is off the table. Well, what motion is that? To continue the hearing. To oh. continue the hearing. Uh, <coughs> Dave being away. Oh, well, you can only FaceTime. Huh? I can be at the meeting. You mean you want us all, you're inviting us all to come down to a room? Yeah, yeah no, that would be a good idea. <laughs> we get the town to foot that bill. <laughs> we, get the, we get the thing for her. Well, you know. I mean, I'm just giving you a scenario. I no, I th but I think what I would like. I, I mean, I think I think, you know, we need to sit in a He's minimum heard. of one or two more sessions like this, where we go through what Steve's given us. And Steve's going to give us that list. That's I mean, I, I mean, yeah. you know, I, I can I can begin to contingent upon the information we get from. Steve and what we generate, I can begin to create a, a, a template that we'll plug data into once we summarize this. But either I would need, you know, I need to get grasp once some of these things, because they're going to have to be, you know, we're going to have to point to certain things. So I'm going to have to know which ones we're pointing to. Um, and if, if you're out for the next two and a half to three weeks. And then on the seventh, Nat is going to be in and hopefully out of the hospital right away, but not not going to be jumping over here to extra meetings all the time if he's moving at all. Well, I've got therapy to go through. Yeah, so so probably, uh, I mean, hopefully he'll recover as much as Don did, uh, as quickly as he has. Um, but you know, I, I'm, that, to me, says we're, we're almost at April 15th. With, but before we're all sitting back here easily and we're talking about extending 30 days as though it's going to be a functional 30 days. It's not going to be a functional 30 days, so I don't know what we do. Um, so I'm not sure we can't, I'm not sure we can afford not to continue the hearing. Only because I don't, you know, there's not even going to be enough of us here to vote on it. In the next 30 days. Which is an extraordinary circumstance. I mean, you know, if, if, you know, for, if for some reason we can't comply, you know, which it sounds like you have some practical unusual situation here. We're not going to be penalized for that. I, well, I would, I, I would think that. I, I mean, it, it seems to me that that what the thing we are almost forced to do is to take an action which has some questionable ability to withstand a dispute, a legal dispute. However, to not to, and, and we might find, technically speaking, that if it's, if the, if the dispute is upheld, which is to say if, if the trust advises John to say, no, we want, a, we want the hearing closed. And we say, well, listen, we're just going to keep proceeding the way we're going to proceed, whether you like it or not. And here's what we're doing. Okay, we're going we're gonna to meet on April. We're going to consult and review. If we can come to a decision, we will. We'll close the hearing, and we'll generate a decision for it. If they say, no, we're going we're gonna to dispute it, and they, then they appeal the process, I, they're not going to get anywhere faster than we're going to get a decision out to them. Definitely not, no. Uh, or if we have... Uh, how, far, how far from the street yeah. are those houses? 
From the pavement or the right away line? From the pavement. From the right away. From the right away. The edge of the edge of the roadway, right? Well, no, that's the, going that's, to the that's a different thing. You're the right away is in the middle. No, the, to, the no. Lot, to the lot line. To the lot line. Oh, to the lot line. Okay, that's the right of way. Uh, thirty feet. Yeah, thirty feet. That's thirty. That's thirty. They're all they're all about so that's thirty. From where? The the lot line is right there, Dave. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. The heavy line. Okay, that's one of the waivers that you requested. Right, and we're we're now at fifty feet. I know. Right. 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 So, so whether we whether we approve it or disapprove it, there's going to be contention. You understand what I'm saying? I don't think so. There will, there will be a contention. Well, if you approve it, as, as, assuming you approve it, that means you approve the, the waiver of the 50 feet. Uh, with conditions. Terrible. We would approve it with conditions. And one of them would be not to approve the 50 foot, the, uh, you'd have to comply with the 50 foot setback. Oh which means you'd have to move these houses all back, yeah, we, we which means you're going to have to change that. We couldn't do it. You, you couldn't do it. So that's what I'm saying. There's going to be contention. Either way. <clears throat> See, John, one of the items in this list here is negotiating with developers is possible and is frequently done during the 40B process. And you wouldn't even talk about it. And that's one of the things that that is problematic with this plan. Just one. You want to you want to continue this too? Well, I th I think procedurally, I think we're in a box here. Right. Just to be clear, don't we? I'm sorry, enough, but the statute does make it clear if the decision isn't rendered within the time allowed, unless the time's been extended by mutual agreement. That's after the decision. That's the final. Yeah, the application the after the application shall be deemed to have been allowed and the comprehensive permit or approval shall forthwith issue. Uh, you all have got a good argument given Matt's upcoming surgery and you're being away right. to extend yeah. it. But it doesn't say unless extraordinary circumstances yeah. require a longer time. That's the risk you run. Yeah. You've got a good argument, yeah. but uh, that's one, we just don't want to be in a position of having to make it. Um, so, um, in return to what I said, I think unless Mr. Nicholas's client's willing to, you know, submit the written extension for the extra month or so that's taken, uh, I think you've got to start mm -hmm. the clock ticking tonight, yeah. the 40 day clock. and. Uh, And I will do my best to get my framework of the decision to you as soon as possible so that I can be distributed and you can at least have that. Well, Something to read when you're in Florida. Well, the, the part of the... the oh, yeah? <laughs> well, the other Are thing... You I'm in Aruba. Oh, Aruba. Aruba. Yeah. Aruba. Even Aruba. 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 That's old people. <laughs> Even better. Uh, <laughs> um, The, th the thing is, is that yes, you can do that, and yes, we can review that, mm -hmm. but uh, you know we can't consult each other about it. 
That's right. And okay. that's my concern about it. I mean, we can read it, yeah. but, you know, I mean, we're, we're almost not back here until that next hearing, and we have only, at that point, we're 30 days into a 40-day window. And then we're hoping he's going to be in there. Right. Exactly. I mean, that's, that's another variable. Um, uh, and that's, uh, that's, I mean, and that's assuming that there are no other variables that occur oh. in, in, in impacting voting. How about meeting April 6th before he goes in? We can bring him in drugged. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, if I'm born the next day, yeah, he can I'm not going to see you then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's 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 a real tight tight yeah you know tight tight window. Uh, it's almost almost not a sufficient amount of time. Uh, it certainly isn't. It certainly <coughs> isn't right <coughs> that the applicant has Continue. has continued us for all this time, stretching everything out. Then all of a sudden. Somebody that decides that hey, he's got to force us to close immediately. Of course, your, right. client, your client could also agree to extend the decision time too. If you, just, you, know, if you decide not to continue the hearing tonight, and your client. But I mean, we've had continuances where the machine is broken. I know. I mean, right. here's a man that's got to have an operation. I mean, it's far more important than a machine broken. You could have got another machine and had it copied. Come on. So, I mean, somebody's got to give here. <coughs> yeah, I don't know, but, but you're the lawyer, so I don't know how it ends up. And well, he's telling us how it ends up. It sounds to me like, you know, if, if, if they, one, if they want the law on their side, it's more on their side than our side. I know. I know. You know, and, and uh, two, it's not, it's not an argument environment in which boards typically prevail. Um, nevertheless, in my mind, we could probably craft a decision along the lines we would want to craft it before that decision could be ruled upon, that a process decision could be ruled upon by the housing court. Wouldn't they have to if, if we continue the hearing and John talks to his client and we ask him to ask his client to uh, request it and they still say no, they still have to go through a formal, uh, some sort of process to dispute or appeal what we're doing, don't they? Well, you would do something within that 40 days. Well, we, well I'm saying even, we, even we would continue to act. Even it was period, and right. it wasn't an adequate decision at all. Right. I mean, you would do something. We would act. Right. And mm -hmm. if that's adverse to the applicant here, yeah. they get to appeal to the Housing Appeals Committee a process that could take a while. Yeah. Um, and get the de novo hearing, a new hearing before they present evidence, you know. Yeah. So, and uh, that's quite a procedure. Um, so, but I certainly would counsel you to do something in that 40 days. I mean, not yeah. just let the clock mm -hmm. tick yeah. down because you run that risk. Now you've got the application approved, whatever, in whatever form it is before you. Um, does that answer your question? I mean, to take a little off of you too, he can, he can draft a little um, drafting how we're going to make a decision. He can have a, a lot outlined. I would take he and his wife out to dinner. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> think yeah. that. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is why he's here. Huh? But, but, I mean, he's here to help. Well, I mean, Help us. I'm just trying to say, move you along. Well, well, I'm, I'm, I'm. I mean, I was looking to Edie. As That's exactly what I mean. We had someone to before. Say, if you're going to go this direction, yeah. you need to be able to right. go down this factory. If you're going to go this right. direction, you got to go and down this. This is what factory. we had and lost. That's another. Right, and and so let's go ahead and do this. And 
and and I think I think if Steve gives us some thought process, what I'm what I'm concerned about right now is that the next thirty days we don't have. It's not easy for all of us to get anywhere. If we all were here for the next thirty days, you weren't going away yeah. and you weren't going. In, we could meet weekly and knock this down so that we could get to there and say, okay, here's what we think. We know enough of what we're going to say, and boom, it's probably a 15 or 20 page decision, oh, and we bang it out. But we don't have that next 30 no, but days. I think Steve, Steve can come up with that, though. Well, I think he can, he, he may be able to help provide us with yeah. some formats yeah. to, to consider, and, and I've researched some formats, and, yeah. and uh, Lisa's given me some formats that I think I can use to begin to craft like I said, subject to our content, but we're not, we don't have a window right now to create as much of the content as we like, except independently, and so we can't consult because of the open meeting law. Right. I, I, can't, I can't say you're in Aruba and he's sitting in his house recovering, hey guys, what do you think about this? I think this, and you guys, oh, we can't do that. Right. So, you know, we're, we're, we're not in a mode if we close it tonight, um, we're forced to generate, otherwise de facto. And I'm, I'm thinking we have, to, we have to continue. We ask John if they want to, they, we continue and we go forward with what we're going to do. Exactly the way we do. You generate the information that we what can do review. Well, you, you do the best you can and if your hand is forced because they won't consent to Enlargement. But we haven't heard they won't consent yet. We don't know. We don't so know can we right. do this vote on a cons on, on an idea that we're going to get an answer hearing. from him first, from Mr. DeCoulos first, of what we're going to do? I don't know how we could do that. I can guess we I'm do that? I'm not following. What are you? Well, he doesn't know what right. his uh, trustees are, what are they going to do? If they want to keep going or no. Right. So before we put our foot forward, can we ask them for their decision first? Well, this meeting is going to either adjourn tonight in some form or fashion. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But you could do what I was suggesting I mean, earlier, again, go ahead and vote on it, continue the hearing as though they granted it. They're, they're going to submit the written acquiescence or agreement to the continuance. If they don't, then your next meeting, whenever it is, is just that many days into 40. The, the 40 day clock. I mean, it is just the kind of a throw out type of thing. I mean, usually when they come in, they have their lawyer and we have decisions. We don't have to call anybody. Uh, you know, last time we had one, the lawyers here, everybody's here. The decisions are made. We don't have these continuance that we've been having for the years. Right, right. So, I mean, you know, how can they have so much and we can't? And we're the deciding board, but we're not getting, there's nobody here to make a decision. What, what are we dealing with here? We're an open book with no pages? Well, you're dealing with really an, an unknown as to what the consequence would be. Yeah. You know, I can read the words, I can say there's, there's no exception provided, but ordinarily in times of, you know, extraordinary, I call it extraordinary circumstances, which this is, you know, if it were a court, it would be sympathetic to that. And it may well be the case. I'm just saying, the rule of decision making I use is on which side would I rather be wrong, right? And I'd rather be wrong in say, saying, look, we, we should assume that 40 day clock starts ticking. We avoid litigation, we avoid, you know, and if there's a way we can we can yeah, do that, let's do, do that, it. Right. Yeah. If and I'll tell you if it it turns out bad for the applicant in terms of the outcome from this board, and they go up on appeal, to the extent a board ever gets a sympathy hearing from the housing appeals committee, this would be it because we would be making the argument. Mm. Look, you know, we had two mm -hmm. members out. Well, you'll be back for our April meeting. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be back. There is a question about Nat's I don't know if Nat's going to be up right. to par. No. No, it's your problem. I can carry him over here. 
no problem for me. If as I long, can, if as, long I as I can, move, I will. But right. I'm. And you're going in on the seventh. Seven. I'm having surgery the seventh. Right. What's the hearing date? Sixteenth. I should be walking the eighth. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, you could, you yeah. certainly could be. You certainly yeah, you could be up and around. Talk. Yeah, I mean, we don't know. I hope do. I'm doing what you're doing. I don't want to say I was here for 50 no. years. I'm never going to make that one. <laughs> but uh, I hope I'm up and around. I know, I said that too. Um, okay. I can't say I will. Right, yeah. Because you don't know right. what you it's like when you went for surgery. You don't know what's going to happen. You hope that everything goes through like I certainly hope everything does. Yeah. But sitting here, I can't guarantee it. Okay. Uh, let's continue this till next month and ask John to ask is the trustees to get to agree to a continuance. Okay. All right. I think yeah, I think that's the only thing we can do. If they I, I think we the consequences of them denying it and us going forward is is either if we take zero action, which we won't take zero action, to take zero action will good, is, is tantamount to an approval. Because the 40 days will go by, mm -hmm. it becomes approved. If we take an action next month and just make a decision and, and are close to drafting, it still gives us 10 days to draft, but you know, there's so many variables. Oh, that's a job. I wrote, the the I wrote the decisions in the first 27 years on the board. Mm -hmm. I wrote all the decisions, and and it uh, takes a bit of time. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Oh, yeah. Because you've got to write them in such a way that you can that the other guy uh, isn't going to find a loophole in what you've said, so that mm -hmm. yeah. You know. Well, you know, I mean. You can say what you what the board means. It used to be that uh, if we said no, then the guy that took no said, "All right." So it happens. Now you get a lawsuit. Well, if it's if it's there's there's no state where there isn't going to be much work required because if it's a denial. We're going to have to substantiate the circumstances surrounding a denial. If it's an approval with conditions, we're going to have to come up with all the conditions under which we would accept yeah. this to be built the way it is. Um, and that's going to require, that's going to take, that's going to take some work too. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's, it's, it's going to be a tough window to get that decision out in 10 days beginning tonight. Well, you know, 40 days from tonight, yeah. since we can't really act on it at all between now and then. Right. Yeah. You keep saying this. Are we going to go for a continuance? Yet? I think we're half them. All right, so why don't we do that? And, because we're kind of repeating ourselves. Here. Yeah, well, I just I just want to I, make I think you've said it, and I think it's the thing we got to do. Let's deal with it. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think we can. I think if we actually close the hearing, we're. You know, I'd rather I'd rather argue this in a an appeal process, mm -hmm. and have more time yeah. instead of closing us down right now. We close it now. We're we're conceding defeat to forty. Well, I'll days. make a decision that we continue the hearing to April. Sixteenth. Sixteenth. Motion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll second. Okay. The motion's been made. Continue the hearing to April sixteenth. And it's been seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay, thank you. Do, do we need, Steve, should we give him 
a, a written request under the circumstances. We have to draft that tomorrow. You yeah, have the form, I'm just going to look at the little sheet. But yeah, I have. I need that. No, I mean, do we need to give him no. a request that we're, we're asking him to go to his no. his Well, you, client. Made, you made the request in the form of the email. You made it formally? It, it, in writing. It's verbal, fine? No, it's fine. No, okay. It's okay. 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 Thank you. 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 Okay, do I have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion that we adjourn. Do I hear a second? A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned.